Hi, um, this is Wen Qian, and uh, yeah, I'm going to give a brief introduction on the paper that I submitted for this year's as you said, a high performance accelerator for super resolution processing on embedded GPU. Um, uh, brief introduction on the motivation is that uh, recent years have witnessed uh, impressive, uh, impressive progress in super resolutions. Well, as the model get more and more powerful, uh, there is another uh, requirement has come up, which is the real-time inference requirement, especially on embedded uh, devices. So in this paper, uh, to solve this uh, uh, problems, we actually propose a full-stack super resolution um, acceleration framework on embedded GPU devices, specifically, um, with two parts. The first key is the model uh, compression, which is focusing on the model design. And the other one is the detailed deployment of optimizations on the embedded GPU. And uh, uh, firstly, let's get some background on the deep learning super, as, uh, super resolution model here. And this is actually the model that we chose uh, uh, because this is actually already a lightweighted model, which can be a uh, uh, split it into uh, four different parts, uh, upsampling, uh, which is a, a simple operation, and the backbone of the network. Uh, uh, you can see it's uh, different layers of con uh, residue uh, block of uh, conventional layers, which is used to extract feature from the uh, lower, uh, lower resolution image. And after that, we'll get, uh, uh, it will get uh, coefficients. Uh, and this is the most important part. This coefficients will be put into as a query of the dictionary. The dictionary here represents, it's coming from the idea of dictionary learning. And uh, here it is represented by layers of different uh, shaped heat map. And after that, you would just, uh, uh, this is coefficients basically to selecting which layer is important. And after that, uh, it, it, the, the weighted sum will be used as a filter to extract the detailed information from the upsampled uh, course image. Okay, so this is the network. And uh, here at this page, it's some uh, 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 words or language illustration of uh, what this stage is doing here. I'm going to skip this page here. And also another background here that I want to introduce is actually the structure of the GPU where the hardware structure contains a group of computational cores. So, and also there is a multiple level memory systems. There are a cache uh, in each uh, SM. And also there are um, a kernel, first each kernel there, uh, when you're doing the CUDA programming, it can be uh, 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 different levels of uh, parallelism is uh, need to be considered. For example, there are uh, a grid of blocks, and also there are blocks of threads. And the the size of the threads will also uh, uh, affect uh, affects the uh, let's see uh, 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 communi com communication cost and also the parallelism, which is actually a trade off you need to consider, and. Uh, for our uh, 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 framework, uh, uh, model-wise, we uh, plan to use the channel pruning because channel pruning is actually more uh, is one of the most important uh, techniques used for uh, uh, model shrinking, and also it's what we use. It's uh, it's hardware friendly, so basically. Uh, uh, for this step, we iteratively update the, the parameters of the network and also the, the, the selecting vector, which shows which uh, layer of the dictionary. Oh, by the way, we're doing pruning only on the dictionary because that's the most time consuming part. And so we select the, which layer of the dictionary need to be ignored. Okay. And uh, we, uh, as you can see, uh, we consecutive solve these two uh, sub problems. And uh, the step one, we can use uh, so regression and uh, the step two we actually use a linear regression to get the parameters and this is actually the framework of our pruning strategy and uh, actually uh, yeah that's how it's done and at uh, this page is actually the uh, thorough 
a method, a method uh, algorithm for the uh, dictionary selection strategy, which is also shown in our paper, as you can see. And uh, as well, our results shows that uh, the, the, the precision does not uh, shrink that much, even with, if uh, as we increase the uh, compression ratio to 10%, it's still state of the art. And uh, here is also the figure of our uh, design on the GPU, uh, when we, uh, especially on the block size uh, design, uh, three dimensionally, how it's de 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 designed. And uh, also for the size of the thread block, you know, there is a lot of constraints when it comes to uh, uh, the register, register fire size on the, on the ISAM and also the threads. Number is limited by a uh, uh, CUDA and also the other uh, dimensional constraints. So basically, we use Bayesian optimization to solve this as a design uh, space exploration problem and can get the perfect uh, block size. Okay, and here are some results that are showing uh, precision wisely. We can, even if we shrink it to 10%, it's still state of art beats all the other baselines. You know, these are the methods that were uh, that were referenced to, and also we can as, as this figure, which is one of the most important one, is that we actually beat not only PyTorch but also with TensorRT with uh, um, our normal GPU with the forty percent average rate acceleration, and on the specifically embedded device we have like uh, 50, uh, 56 percent acceleration, which is really really. Uh, significant. Okay, and here is also the relation between the compression ratio and uh, the time cost as a fashion study. And uh, thank you very much.